here, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter project every single time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. So if you enjoy that kind of weird content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers, celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube t content. Also, consider supporting the Patreon down below as I'm currently a stay-at-home dad. But right now, I am very excited to be checking out the most popular project on all of games on all of kickstarter to be quite frank i would imagine avatar legends the role-playing game an officially licensed tabletop role-playing game set in the world of dot 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 from magpie games it's already raised five hundred and seventy six thousand dollars wow i'm pretty sure it just launched today now the first thing i want to compliment them on is just getting it out of the way an officially licensed tabletop game so they mentioned that right from the jump because i will tell you we have seen projects get picked uh get taken down on kickstarter for not being officially licensed <laughs> Far more often than I'd like to admit. Uh, so I like the fact they led with that. Then I see Avatar Legends, the role-playing game. I see the artwork. I know exactly what it is. I'm not personally an Avatar fan, but I know a lot of people are. And I immediately knew what it was just from it. So I'd say that's some great window shopping right there. I immediately am intrigued, uh, especially if, if I'm a fan of it. Because as always, I try and go into this with three things. Because the Kickstarter creator needs to convince you of three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? And immediately, can you do it? Uh, I'm going to go with just a yes. The fact that you have an officially licensed tabletop role-playing game from Avatar. Like, you have already got this. Because they're not just going to say, oh, any Joe Schmo can do this. But the fact that you mentioned it's officially licensed tabletop game, I feel comfortable with can you do it. So do I want it? How much is it? Hopefully, in this video, I can be convinced. Let's go. Nice look. Here. Water. Earth. Fire. So this is more going more for like a movie trailer vibe. The elements that bind our world together. Ow. Are the same. That's break us apart. So I gotta say, spotlighting that a little bit, that immediately got me excited because when you're doing from both shows, that means you're really opening up the possibilities of the different things you could explore in this world. Uh, which, as a fan of just, you know, <laughs> things in general, that, that gets me excited. <clears throat> Across eras and generations... They have been the instruments of positive and negative, peace and chaos, both violence and imbalance. No matter if you lived in the yesteryears of Avatar Roku, the age Avatar and what are the days of legends Cora. yet to come. Okay, so here's the thing. Even as a non-Avatar fan, I know exactly what they're saying. Oh, we're going to be able to... It's like if Doctor Who, if they were like, you could be any of the 20 Doctors or anything like that. It's pretty much what they're saying. We're going to be dipping into the lore of all these. And I can only imagine how excited these fans are. The pursuit of balance is not for the Avatar alone, no, or even just the benders of our world. No matter if you were born to master an element, or weaponry, or technology, or perhaps the simple brewing of fine tea. So they're saying you're going to be able to, you're not just going to have to fight, 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 fight. I love that. Like, I'm picking up everything they're saying, and I'm not an Avatar fan. That tells me this is a really well done video. No obstacle can be overcome without a journey to discover one's self. And only a fool travels alone. So walk this path together. And find your balance. A great adventure awaits. Oh, 
There's a book. Oh, what's that? What's this? Okay. Dates? Whatevs. Okay. So I have role-played, I believe, a grand total of three times in my life, and I think I've watched about that many episodes of Avatar, but I still would like to play this. That tells me that that video is pretty damn good. And I can only imagine how hard, if you're an Avatar fan, that that is just tickling your member berries there. Because that whole... What, pretty sure this was all just splices from all the different TV shows. Just spliced together. Um, with obviously what they're saying. And wow, this thing is going to be making millions. So, uh, three created nine backs as always. Do I want it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a slam dunk right there. I, uh, I, I, I know that. Can you do it? Magpie created. Three created. Always want to check it out, but let's check it out. We got some collaborators here. Awesome. So we should have some good customer service there. Urban Shadows Root. Oh, they did the tabletop role-playing game. Cool. So are these out? That's why we're making sure these things are released. Granted, I imagine they would totally, uh, <laughs> like, they wouldn't let them do it. Rambunctious Raccoon. We're hard at work uh, getting together, and we're excited to have an update for you on Travelers and Outsiders. We're delighted to bring the final PDF of Travelers and Outsiders other than some minor edits. So this is not out. By the way, oh, everything will be at the printer. So this is going out end of June. Uh, it's August. So this, oh, so this is probably out. Cool. So people, so people have got that. So it looks like maybe they're one game behind. They have one game that currently hasn't shipped. So two, that's not bad. Pledge Manager lets you shoot. Okay. Looks fine. Don't have an issue with that. But sometimes with board game companies, you'll have board game companies, you'll have eight, nine, ten games that haven't shipped yet. And it's like, ugh, that's, that's not good. So the Can You Do It is a yes. You've already done it twice and you have the official uh thumbs up of the creators of avatar so here we go last thing we need to get to how much is it boom we got to the price i love this kickstarter do i want it already answered in the video can you do it already answered just in that beginning text an officially licensed tabletop like i pretty much knew i was in good hands at that point and then how much is it we don't beat around the bush we get straight to the price the only thing that i could possibly ask for more and i'm praying right now is that the shipping is right after the pledge levels. Because that, that would just be perfect. That's all I need. My shopping experience would be done. All right, so Otter Penguin, 55% off. Core book plus all stretch goals. So this is the one that they want you to get. That's why they're saying this is the featured one. They're saying if you're a real Avatar fan, this is what you get. You don't want this crummy $25 one where you just get the book. You want all these cool things like the dice. <clears throat> so core book plus all the stretch goals. Now here's my question. Maybe spotlight a little bit more what I'm actually getting in this like what are these stretch goals maybe zoom in on the dice a little bit more what is this this is a uh let's see that is the uh the co combat action deck you know i can barely read it zoom in a little bit magpie games is decided to bring your avatar legends the role-playing game the officially licensed tabletop role-playing game set in the world of avatar we under get we get it includes setting information seeded with plot hooks for your game numerous playbooks representing yes we get it so download the quick start try the game today oh my gosh are you kidding me <clears throat> hats off to this kickstarter right now this magpie games so far i am just insanely impressed with how they've done this You're, you've got me the featured pledge level i know how much i'm probably going to spend minus the shipping uh i could try the game right now just click on that and that's that's it's spotlight it's so clean so clear what is avatar the role-playing game this is where you talk a little bit more about it the heroes cool eras of play get it awesome adventures well i just want shipping rules and mechanics this is great as well going a little bit more into details i'd love to see a gameplay of it though but granted when they have something where you just make your own damn gameplay of it you know i can't really complain too much about not having a gameplay can i <laughs> avatar legends balance so this is all just going into the weeds about the game which is great this is a great stuff to have but you know what's even better the shipping because a lot of people are not going to bother with going into this they're going to see avatar the last airbender they're going to be like i want this I want this, I want this now, $75, throw my money at you, hooray, we're done. Um, but, uh, and a lot of people are going to want to go into the weeds about exactly how the game works and what makes it different from this, that, and the other. But both of those people need to know about the shipping, right? So how do we put the shipping first? It just, it just makes sense to me. Bending and fighting, cool, whatevs, playbooks. <clears throat> Here are some of the playbooks you could pick from. This all sounds impressive. You're pretty much just like, you, you are hammering home the do I want it for the people who might be skeptical about this. But I don't necessarily know there's going to be a huge group of skeptic people because I know a lot of people just collect these books. Avatar Legends, the role-playing game, so here's the reward. The core book, where's the price? Why don't you give me the price? Why, why would you not have the price here? The core book is an 8x5, awesome. 
uh, to showing me the dimensions of it. Hardcover book featuring beautiful full color art, the core rules for the gameplay, additional rules, and then we have what are these? These are special cover core books. The special cover core book is another cardboard book that features everything in a standard edition with a unique aesthetic look for collectors and fans. So this is just a fancy looking book. Okay. Once again, you know what would be great here? A price. A price, Magpie Games. Like, uh, everything I said that was so glowing above, I'm now going to be the, the harsh critic down here, which is why not? Why not have the damn price? This makes sense to me. Uh, digital rewards. All digital rewards? Yeah, what's the price of the PDF? Can I just get a PDF? What's the price of the PDF? Here, there's a cool there's a dice pack. You're just showing me things. Hey, here's another thing. Deluxe dice pack. There's a cloth mat. Here's a combat action deck. Here's a thing. There's the stuff. There's the guy. There's the thing. More stuff. I don't want stuff. I want a price. Oh, here we go. Pledge levels. So here's the idea. Why don't we take all this information right here and seamlessly interweave it into the pledge levels? Like, let's go up. Let's see if this would be doable. I want to see this. Digital rewards. Uh, unlocked during the campaign include new playbook and NBC Legends. So you're talking about digital rewards, and this one is the digital rewards, right? Uh, Fire Ferret. You get a PDF, the Avatar Legends, the RPG core book, and all the other digital stretch goals unlocked during the campaign. So let's just not be redundant. Let's just get rid of that crap up here and just have the pledge level section because I think it looks really good. So the core book plus all the PDFs, clean, simple, 50 bucks in and out. I love it. Beautiful. $75. This is the premium one. This is the one you want everybody to get. No, it's not. This is the premium one, the one you want everybody to get. Interesting. You get a physical copy of the Avatar Legends, the RPG Core Book, a digital copy. So this is like the collectors when you get the special cover. Is there anything different? Plus, so it's so you're paying twenty five extra dollars for the special cover. And you know what? <clears throat> I don't get that. Normally, I would hammer someone for having this because if you really think about it. The, you're paying $25 for a slip cover for a book. That seems kind of ridiculous. I mean, when you put it like that, it just seems kind of damn ridiculous. So I'm glad they spotlighted the $75 and not the $100, because I probably would have, would, have, would have just complained if they would have spotlighted that one. So then we have the Sky Bison, Deluxe Dice, Deluxe Dice Bag, Special Cover, plus all the Unlux Fresh Goals. So we're paying $100 for <clears throat> Nicer Dice, Nicer Dice Bag, a special cover. It's a special cover. Oh, so the special cover is already... Okay. So you're paying an extra $100 for dice. Oh my god. You're paying $100 for dice. You're paying $100 for 12 dice. And a, 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 a dice bag. No, god. No, make it stop. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, that's the worst. Oh no, that's it. Yeah, because you get the special cover plus all the stretch goals. This one gets the special cover. So yeah, you right now are asked to pay $100 for 12 dice and a dice bag i think i just threw up in my mouth that is such a bad price please don't tell me that's a popular stretch goal please tell me sanity prevailed and that is not a popular stretch goal my cabbages okay so now we're getting oh retailers only fine whatevs great to have that there add-ons but let's go here please tell me sanity prevailed and not that many people bought the 200 dollars one i'm going to tell you right now a lot of, i bet you the 200 dollars one is the most popular one i i don't i don't want to believe that but i'm gonna i'm gonna guess it is which means they're going to make a boatload of cash off that. Because the more dice that you produce, the lower the cost is going to be. Alright, so if PDF backers, 540 people. 20 bucks. Normally I'd scoff a $20 PDF, but with a get, something like this, don't even think twice. $50 for just the book. We got 300 backers. Wowzers. We're going to have some big numbers down here. $75. So this was the recommended one. Let's see if people listened. $2,214. $100. $935. So good gravy uh there were 935 people who thought 25 dollars for that uh okay and then we got the 200 992 thank goodness sanity prevails but there's still 992 people who are willing to pay 12 dollars to pay 100 dollars for 12 dice i think paying 12 dollars for 100 dice is quite ridiculous uh but do, oh my gosh 100 dollars for 12 dice that just hurts me and it's not even like it's a super nice bag either it's just like a okay gotta remember different world you're buying this as a collector's item in addition to an item that you can use add-ons you can purchase add-ons on your pledge through a drop down i wonder if the dice are going to cost a hundred dollars dice bag fifteen dollars combat action day so they're telling me the dice bag is fifteen dollars right there so technically you are paying oh wait no there's a deluxe dice bag oh okay where's the deluxe dice bag do we even get to see a picture of this deluxe dice bag we don't okay okay 
still crazy. Combat action deck, twenty dollars. Four nations claws. So you want to get the extras? Cool. These. This is the regular dice, and I think these dice look really nice. <clears throat> deluxe dice bag. Oh, so this is the deluxe dice bag. They're saying the deluxe dice bag is a twenty-five dollar item, which means th they're saying those twelve dice cost seventy-five dollars. Is that what they're saying? No, they cost a hundred dollars. Are you high? Like that's insanity. That's just stupid. Is there actually? Is this like a gigantic box of Avatar dice? A hundred dollars for twelve dice? No. No, 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 I don't like it. Stop it. I don't want to look at it anymore. That's ridiculous. Okay, so here's the other thing. <clears throat> you are massively, massively overfunded. You need to get these stretch goals higher immediately. Because now it is no longer about can this game get made. It is how amazing is this going to be. Your snowball is just absolutely rolling as fast as it possibly can. This could be the biggest project ever on Kickstarter. If you really think about it, this could make $10 million. Would you bat your eye if this made $12 million? If they did it like a board game stretch goal where it was like there were stretch goals happening every single freaking day and they're crazy stuff just adding and throwing it in there? Because the amount of money, the well, I don't know. I shouldn't say that because I imagine it costs a lot of money to use the Avatar thing, but still, $100 for dice. It's insane. Stretch goals. With your help, we can make Avatar Legends, the RPG, even better once we reach our initial funding goal. We've lined our stretch goals, so let's see. Dice pack. So this... Uh, oh, you get this? Uh, $75 plus dollar level. You automatically get the dice pack? Okay, so this was not... Oh, so that's... I thought these were stretch goals. My children are screaming. Uh, I thought these were stretch goals. So a Four Nation Cloth Bat at 3,500 followers. So have they been just updating this? So here's what I'd say. Um, I would I would do Unlocked. I would do like a Kickstarter Unlocked with that picture up there. Uh, combat Deck. So this is just the stuff. Okay. 200, new Core Playbook. So okay, cool. The A New Core Playbook. That's awesome. New NPC Legend. So these are great stretch goals. Uh, the Pillar. So I would just say put them higher. Adventure booklet number one so everybody's going to begin this the journal pack and this looks like we're having one every hundred thousand dollars this could this could realistically if this hits a couple million dollars that's going to be a really exciting fun stretch goal area to go for which is why i say put it up the top because if you really think about it if you've checked out a lot of kickstarters one of the funnest part of going on a kickstarter is going on the journey to see all the different delicious things that have been unlocked and so put that near the top. Give people that a feeling. Give them, mm. Release the Avatar Legends, the RPG quick start last month uh, after running playtests in the Curated Playgroup. So it's June. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is, these are these reviews of it? Are these, uh, oh, these are people writing about what they thought about it. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, interview. How will planning will work? What does this say? Oh, this is, yeah, this is a gameplay. What? Awesome. So that's a gameplay. That's exactly what I want to see beautiful i'm sold the team awesome i could tell tons of polish on this kickstarter top-notch job here for the most part we're happy to share after legends the avatar anywhere in the world once again i don't know why the shipping's all the way down here but uh so what is oh you used your stupid terminology why do you use the damn terminology <laughs> make it could make it simpler put winged lemur fifty dollars otter penguin seventy five dollars i think that's way easier so ninety dollars so fifteen dollars shipping to ship everything in the otter penguin pledge level I don't have an issue with that. $10 to ship that book. I don't know if it necessarily fit into a fat light ship, padded shipping envelope. So it seems reasonable. U.S. These don't look terrible. The shippings don't look terrible. So, and it's, oh, it's VAT friendly. Awesome. Excellent. Great. So I am, I am really happy with this Kickstarter. I'm not going to lie. This is a really well-ran Kickstarter. So I, I always have the grade A through F, but let's get to the updates, the comments, the FAQ first, just to make sure. Will there be a GM screen? We're currently planning a GM screen. Hmm. I wonder if that's a stretch goal. If that is the case, I would say keep your eyes peeled on the stretch goal. Winks. Uh, will there be miniatures? No. We don't have the rights to make miniatures. Okay. Great. Clear. Blunt. Awesome. We have the rights to the English version of the game, but our licensor may work with local partners in future years. Get it. So let's check out the updates, see if they're good updates. Okay. They're not good updates. Oh, this one just launched today, but still... You have 5,241 people, and you have 12 comments on your first update. Granted, this just did launch today, I think. Okay, it launched today. I could give it a little bit of a pass. Let's check the updates, though. I'm assuming it's a bad update, because if you have 5,000 people here and only 12 people are commenting, that means you're not getting them engaged. You're just regurgitating information onto them, and I bet that's what you're going to do here. Well, it's only been two hours. I've unlocked the first three stretch goals. I unlocked stretch goal of the dice bag. I unlocked stretch goal the adamant. 
the Tenzin Cool Devs uh, journal packs. The journal continues. Thank you so much. Keep up with all the fun. And yeah, so you're not getting me engaged in any way, shape, or form here. You're just throwing a bunch of stuff out of me, which I imagine most people are just going to be saying how much they like it. Any chance that some of the PDF only stuff like the extra playbooks getting collected in something physical as a stretch goal? Uh, keep up the good work. How do you justify calling them stretch goals when you have to pledge a certain tier to get access to them instead of just calling it what it is, which is just another reward tier? If you have to pledge a certain level to get them, that's not stretch goals. Uh, I I disagree with that. Uh, let's see. Plenty of Kickstarters do it that way. Yes, this is very common. You are at a certain tier. You get them for free when you get funding. I disagree. Multiple Kickstarters work like this. You have to... Yeah. And so, yeah, that's people saying, no, this is this is pretty industry standard at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Holland specifically. Okay. Let's get okay. Yes, this is pretty common. We've got ourselves into a, uh, a little. Uh, where we go? So, and, and yeah, that's 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 all the comments, literally. So you are not engaging anyone at all. Those ten comments are because someone said, "I don't like how you're doing stretch goals," and everyone else said, "No, that's pretty much how stretch goals go now." You didn't engage anyone at all with this update. It's a bad update, and that's absolutely unacceptable when you have a slam dunk no-brainer because as always i say in your updates you need to be tickling the kickstarter algorithm by 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 getting people commenting an update because that's how you're going to stay at that number one position for the entire length of your campaign or near the top three top six where people are just more likely to stumble onto it you ask them about it just seems obvious you ask them a question about avatar at the end of every question at the end of every update you should be asking some sort of like like i'll give you an easy one slam dunk what part of the avatar universe are you most excited to explore first what kind of character are you gonna do you can literally just ask a question every single update that relates to the game or what you're going to do in the game or your member berries about the tv shows or anything like that you have five thousand people here who clearly love avatar why are you just regurgitating crap on me like like we get it we can see your stretch goals we know all this it's just it's just ugh. it's just yeah no these are bad updates these are bad updates and here's the thing you've had three in the first day too chill out there okay chill out because the last thing you want people to do is just to start ignoring these um so once again we're talking about the stuff the journey continues and no comments Nobody has anything to say about what you just said. Because that's the third time you're talking to him today. So I don't like how they're handling their update section. But that doesn't impact the do I want it, the can you do it, the how much is it. So I still can do my grade. Have you entered uh, in for the Flying Bison Pledge? Will that include any new stretch goal add-ons? Additions, yes. And that's another thing as well. That makes it so much easier. So David right there quite literally just pointed to something I said just a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago, which was I would totally go up there and put unlocked on that. Like this was a Kickstarter thing that was unlocked. This was a stretch goal that was unlocked uh, because it's not as clean and clear as it could be. I think it, I think it honestly is pretty clean, but you always want it to be as clean as possible, right? Uh, which of the add-ons will be part of the Polar Bear Pledge? Will the Adventure Book and Map be part of the pledge? Every one of the picture on the main page. Uh, the Polar Bear tier gets unlocked stretch goals that include... But once again, people are still asking. And maybe that's just because we have a lot of new people. I wonder if it'll show us that. It would be nice to see a stretch goal for the classic. Uh, and so I do see the creator on here popping up every once in a while. Hopefully your collaborators are going to be chiming in here as well. Hopefully they have different sleep schedules than you because you are going to have a wild west of a comment section, especially if you actually actively try to get people engaged. Because, like, it just seems like such a no-brainer to me that, oh, wow, big ups, London, that you would be trying to talk to them about Avatar. So highly recommend this. And I challenge, I challenge you, Magpie Games, in a future update, ask that question. Ask any question, and you see how many more comments you're going to get, and you see how much more you're going to be tickling those Kickstarter algorithms. But that is Avatar Legends, the role-playing game, a final grade. Do I want it? Yeah. I don't even like Avatar that much, but damn it, that video is good. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? $75 for all the stuff I'm getting there. I don't feel like that's a terrible value. I'm going to give this one an A. I think this is a very well-ran Kickstarter. Don't like the updates. Don't like where the shipping information is. But other than that, like that, those are those are nitpicks, to be quite honest. This is a very well 
very, very well run Kickstarter. So if you enjoyed what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below and let me know in the comments below if you agree, if you disagree, what you thought about that segment. Because as always, that just makes these videos far more interesting when they have a chit chatty comment section where people are talking about what, how much of an idiot I am. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.